to mash, riding on a horse, ha, huh. you can get your Porsche, ha, huh. I've been in the valley, you ain't rid about that Porsche, ha, huh. yeah, that was cringe. How you guys feel about that Old Town Road? You guys like the, the whole thing that's happening with that? Have you guys heard this song, Old Town Road? Anyways, moving on. Today, you guys are joining me for another episode of my favorite series here on the channel, which is Does This Cause Acne? The series where I get questions from you guys from the previous episode in the comments, and then I answer about four to five questions and try to back it up with scientific studies and proof if I have the ability. So if you want to add anything for the next episode, leave it in the comments below, but let us move forward to the first question. And the first question is, does peanut butter cause acne? Now this one I actually tried to look up specific studies that specifically target peanut butter, but that's not really something that has been done. But more so, there are studies that have shown that increased intake of high fatty foods does increase the level of mTORC in the body, and the level of mTORC then influences the amount of sebum fluid that you produce. All this techno babble talk, just to say that when you have higher fats in your diet, your body produces more facial oil, and if you are prone to acne, that oil will clog and cause acne. So having high fat anything is going to cause an increase in acne, and unfortunately, peanuts are very high in fat. That is not to say that you shouldn't have any fat in your diet at all. You should, and you should be getting them from healthy fats. But just keep in mind that yes, having a huge amount of fats is going to cause acne, no matter what type it's coming from. Number two, I really like this question. This is, does diet soda and aspartame, and really just like all, you know, no calorie sweeteners, artificial sweeteners, I guess, cause acne. And this is actually a really interesting one because there's been a lot of different studies about what those things do to the body, but not necessarily one that's just targeted on, you know, your sebum production or your acne increase or decrease when it comes to artificial sweeteners. So it was actually really hard, again, to find a study that backs this one up, but by looking at studies that have been done on diet sodas and artificial sweeteners that involve other organs of the body, we can kind of deduce that it is not good for your acne. And the one that I kind of went for is that we have proven that by increasing the amount of artificial sweeteners that you are intaking, you change the, the microbiome of your gut. And so when your gut is not healthy and you have a lot of overgrown bad bacteria and you have a lot less good bacteria than you need, it can cause a lot of issues with acne, something that I personally had, which was called leaky gut syndrome. And basically kind of in a layman's terms way of saying it, is basically when you have that much bad bacteria, you can eventually have kind of like these little holes and leaks in your gut that cause you to have more toxicity in your body that your body then has to filter. And one of the ways that it can filter is through your face. So yes, this can lead to an increase in acne. So this one is kind of the heavy hitter question for this episode. This one is, I'm 15, my dermatologist suggests that I take Accutane. Should I take Accutane? And this is one that you've probably heard me say a million times if you've been following me for a long time, but I think Accutane should absolutely be the last resort. If I had the option, I probably wouldn't have done Accutane in the past knowing what I know now. Maybe I would have still done it just because I've been able to reach so many people and help so many people through that series that I made. But Accutane is extremely, extremely destructive on your body. If you didn't know this, Accutane actually started as a, a chemotherapy drug. So it wasn't actually the intention, it wasn't made for acne, it was made for chemotherapy. And then they just found that it shuts off your sebum production a bit. So I would say if you have tried everything else and you are absolutely desperate for clear skin, then yes, you can, you know, you can talk to your derm and maybe hop on and stuff. But in my personal opinion, I wouldn't. I would try every other thing, especially diet, and all the other things that you could possibly do that they'll give you antibiotics and, and retin-A and all that kind of stuff. Everything I would vet before I got on Accutane because it has some serious side effects, which you can check out in some of my other videos. And so number four, this is kind of a common question and it's a bit of a long one, but this is one I think a lot of people don't understand, which is, so what causes acne, high carb or high fat? It seems like she's kind of confused. Uh, I'm suffering with PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. A lot of girls might know that, a lot of guys maybe not know that, but it causes a lot of issues and pain in the, in, you know, the, the stomach area. Uh, all I hear is to cut out carbs and eat more healthy fat for hormones, but I feel like I break out whenever I eat things like almonds, avocados, eggs, but also from bananas and potatoes. So any suggestions, Brian? And I, I wanna kind of clear something up for you. Maybe take some of the confusion away. There's a video I made called The Science of Acne. And this kind of breaks down a study that has been recently done in the last couple years that shows there's a lot of different foods that increase our mTORC in our blood. And when we have an increase in mTORC, like I said earlier, we have an increase in sebum oil production, which then produces more acne. Sorry, I keep saying all the scientific words, but all that to say that a couple of those things that were listed in the study were high sugar foods, high caloric intake, just period, high amount of calories throughout the day, high fat intake, and alcohol. 
Those things were all things that caused an increase in acne. So yes, you are seeing an increase in your acne when you eat high fat, and then also, for some reason, when you're eating high sugar as well, because they both contribute. I guess I would say that the answer to this is that you'll never be completely 100% away from food causing acne, right? Like we just have to learn what causes our acne the most and kind of reduce those things. Of course, you do need fat still, so make sure that you don't ever take out a whole macronutrient group. Just have a bit less fat and choose carbohydrate sources that are a bit less in sugar or a little less simple or have a high glycemic index. You wanna have complex carbs, things that digest with a little bit more time and don't raise your blood sugar as much. And the last Last question for this episode today is does sun exposure increase or decrease acne because I feel like we get all sorts of answers I personally was super confused about this and it's kind of the same thing with like chlorine or salt water we get a lot of different answers from people but you're my chicken in the background we get a lot of different answers from people about what does the best for them and so it's kind of hard because it's a lot of anecdotal experience but not a lot of studies I did actually find one study it was really hard to find where they basically took sebocytes which are the cells that you know basically create your sebaceous glands the things that are releasing sebum fluid which is the oil on your face which then causes acne they basically did a test where they saw what the SIBO sites did whether they increased or decreased after UV exposure and what they found was I believe it was hundred and forty percent I think I'm correct with that increase in SIBO sites after I believe it was two days of normal Sun exposure and so this in that study at least shows that you have an increase of oil on your face when you are exposed to the sun so it's very important to use sunblock or some sort of clothing to kind of cover yourself up and not expose yourself too much of course we do need a bit of sun exposure for our vitamin d but i think this more so refers to like going out and laying in the sun for an hour or two hours just straight uh, that will increase the amount of oil you have in your face now as a counterpoint there may be some redeeming qualities to what the you know sun exposure the UV exposure does to the sebum oil on your face and causes you maybe to break out less or clog your pores less so it may be counteracted and that's maybe why we see a lot of people say it does increase their acne and other people say it improves their acne we don't really quite know yet because we really only have one kind of uncorrelated study so unfortunately that's all I can give you as far as my personal experience goes when I am in the Sun more I do see an increase in my acne and that is my personal experience and those are the five questions of today's does this cause acne episode I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this episode I also really apologize for the length of time it's been since my last video as you guys know I've been in Australia for the last like uh, 10 10 11 days just got back for about a week and I'm just recovering getting back on track with everything and so now we are back and I'm ready to roll out that good content for you guys so if you have any videos you would like to see leave those suggestions in the comments below and also if you have any questions that you'd like to be included in the next does this cause acne also leave those in the comments below that's about it for this episode I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up let me know what you thought and subscribe if you're not subscribed already remember you are not alone you are beautiful and you are part of team acne see you guys next time